Hello there, lovely folks. My name is Blitzwinger, and ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new episode of Customs for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. And today we are going to be designing two very, very cool characters. First of all, I wanted to address the fact that uh, I completely forgot what the name of the character that I was building on the last episode was, which was not Reverse Flash, but it was actually Professor Zoom. I thought it was that. In fact, even if you watch the episode back, you could hear me say, like, I'm pretty sure he's called Zoom, but I wasn't 100% certain. So thank Thank you to all of you who so kindly corrected me. Yeah, that is, a, that is a joke because that's not how the internet works. But nevertheless, ladies and gents, of course, welcome on back to a brand new episode. Today we're going to be designing two very cool characters as well. We're going to be building the Joker, which I'm really, really stoked about. One of the lovely folks who suggested the Joker was Real Ninja, which, by the way, I absolutely admire the fact that real ninjas watch my videos. That is so cool. I'm going to put that on, like, my mantle. If I ever need to do, like, a resume again or something like that i'll just write watched by real ninja because how could you be any more entertaining than being watched by real ninjas so thank you so very much for that suggestion my friend and then in addition to that we are going to go on ahead and build one other character which will be arrow now there were a lot of people suggesting arrow there were some people actually saying that i should go on ahead and create the Dark Arrow, like Mark West had suggested that. Um, then there was a few other people, uh, like Lemmy Lytila. As I said, I'm going to give you guys shout-outs now to those of you that comment down below. So don't forget, the best way to get a shout-out on an upcoming episode of Customs is to comment down below and hit that like button. So with all that in mind, um, a lot of people suggested to do the Green Arrow design or Arrow design. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. I'm looking forward to trying to pull that off. And I guess we'll see um, how that turns out. All right. So I'm not going to destroy Homer yet. Or who else did we create last time? Uh, reverse Flash, a.k.a. Zoom. So we're going to rename him. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, man. Do I get rid of Batman? I guess I do, don't I? That stinks. That really, really, really genuinely stinks. That's actually one thing that I think it would have been cool in the game if they would have let you just like press a button and reset the character completely. Because I think that could be, could have been, sorry, a really cool feature. But then again, maybe that's just me. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree down in the comment section below. All right, so let us begin. We're going to go on ahead and start with the Joker and then go on from there. Hopefully we come up with a cool design. If it turns out awful, then it turns out awful. And we will try again in the future. Um, by the way, wouldn't this make for a really cool Goku design? Like this hair? I mean, I know it's not perfect. It should be yellow instead of orange. But I think that would be really sweet, wouldn't it? Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Alright, so... Let me see. Joker hair. I kind of like that. I kind of I kind of do like that as an option, as a possible option. So I think that might be one of the ones that we go with. But let's let's keep looking. Let's keep looking because maybe we could find something a little bit nicer, right? Actually, you know what? Before I keep looking, maybe I should color it green. I feel like that green is nicer, but I feel like this one is more vibrant, so I like it a bit better. But okay, let's stick with that one for now. Just so we could see the different haircuts. This is like a uh, Killing Joke Joker haircut, so that would work. Let's see if we could come up with something a bit fancier looking. Yep, that, that would be great for the Joker, right? This could be Nurse Joker from The Dark Knight. That could be a cool look, actually. Okay, well, that's kind of classic Joker here right there. That's the one that they used to use for his minifigure way back when. So that might be one that we will actually use. So that is definitely the runner-up right now, I would say, out of the entire bunch that is here. Ooh, I actually think that looks kind of cool, too. We could do a Conan O'Brien design with that, right? Um, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, not much. Not much to go off of there. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and use the classic Joker hair, which is this one right here. And hopefully that turns out well once we apply it uh, with some other looks. Do we want to go with the bright green or the shallow green or dark green? Oh, man, that's a tough decision. I'll go with the dark green for now, but I'll pay attention to the comments. And if you guys suggest that we should change it up, I will definitely consider to do so. All right, so we need to turn the face white. Like that, which looks super duper spooky, not gonna lie. But basically, what I'm doing is I'm looking for a spooky looking grin. Something ideally that maybe has like a lot of red, like with the smile. Because uh, the lips are usually red for the Joker, so that would be ideal. Like, it'd be really cool if we could get like an angry face like that. That would be awesome, but obviously this is not an option so far. 
Vampire Joker? Yay, please. <laughs> that would be funny, actually. Vampire Joker. That'd be one heck of a look, wouldn't it? Um, mustache Joker. That'd be cool. Ooh, I wonder. How would this look? This looks like some weird Joker, yeah. But that actually does look kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. I, I sort of like that. I sort of think that that looks pretty cool. Um, that one. Nope. Nope. Oh, man, this is a lot tougher than I thought it would be. My goodness. I genuinely did not think this would be quite this difficult to figure out a face for the Joker, but yikes. Uh, this is a lot tougher than I thought, because honestly, there's re really not much that's, like, springing at me where I'm going, like, oh, this would be perfect, you know? So that's a little worrisome. I'm not going to lie. That is a little bit worrisome, because I'm really not seeing anything that is making me think, like, well, actually... That one is not terrible. I don't like the eyebrows, obviously, and the purple details. Uh, they don't look great, but it does somewhat work for the Joker, so I think that might be our best one so far. But I'm going to keep looking, and maybe we could find something a tiny little bit better. I also would have really liked if he was actually grinning. Mm, that's just not going to work. I'm trying to see, like, some face or expression that would somewhat emulate that you know, spooky smile that the Joker usually has. I mean... No, that just looks terrible. I was like, I mean, maybe that would look good. And then I just very quickly realized, nope, that would not look good at all. Uh, nope, the Yondu face does not look a, a good either. So I think, <clears throat> as much as it stinks to say, I think that the Green Goblin 2099 face was probably the best one that we saw. Which is not something I thought I would be saying going into this custom, but I think that's the one we got to go with. Because honestly, that... Well, let me try a regular goblin. No, that's just... That's just too much of a mess. I mean, the eyes. That's the only thing. It's like, I wish they would be black instead of white like that. Because I think that would work far better for what we're trying to do here. Nope, Craven the Hunter doesn't work. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm just going to pick a face because, honestly, we can't be... I can't be spending, like, half an hour on just one character, even though I'd like to. Because I think that could be funny and fun. But we're going to go ahead and go with... No, I can't. I can't go with that face. It just does not look good. It just does not look good. This is really upsetting. Because I'm trying to be like, oh, this is a perfect one or this is a perfect one. But there's like genuinely nothing that's like making me go like oh yeah this is the right look you know maybe that but uh, again it's just it's just not ideal and, and again i know that th there's not going to be an ideal look but cuz the joker's not in the game but i mean something decent would be really cool you know that's such a boring expression that is such a boring expression. And I can't go for that one because of that. Because it's so boring looking. Nope. Nope. I'm just like trying now just anything to see if there's anything that works better. I'll go with that. Hopefully once we give him like a weapon or something, his expression changes and that helps. Because right now it just looks pretty terrible. Okay. I'll give him a tie. A bow tie. Because I think that could be kind of funny. Green or we could go purple because he sometimes wear. I'll give. I'll go with a green, like bright green too, just so it like stands out like crazy. Um, I'd like to get rid of the cape if possible. There we go. Hey, isn't there something ironic about turning Batman into the Joker? I just realized that. Like that's actually kind of funny. Um, all right, hands, both hands. We are going to give him. I think he usually wears either white or gray gloves, so we'll go with white for this one and we'll see maybe we'll change it up in the future all right so ideally we want something purple of course because that's the usual go-to colors for the joker so purple costume like if this was purple that would have been great that would have been really 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 great and it would have been a possibility here but i'd rather look for something more on the purpley side if i can that's not bad actually that actually looks halfway decent i'm not gonna lie um, this is, that's not purple enough. I mean, sorry, that is purple enough. It's just, 
not the look we're going for. So far, the Baron Zemo look is probably my favorite out of the bunch. That could be a funny looking Joker there. We're obviously going for a bit more of a cheesy looking Joker, not like the Dark Knight Joker, because the Dark Knight Joker would be a lot more serious and we would focus on like the expression being a lot better and everything like that. So um, we would obviously adjust some of those elements about the character. That could actually kind of work, I'm not going to lie, because it does have a little bit of purple elements in it, so I don't particularly mind that one either. But I think I'm going to go with the Baron Zemo uh, look, just because I think that's the nicest one that we saw. And I just I, I just think, let me see, no, I don't like that. Um, I just think that that's the one that's going to give us the most kind of like crazy looking look, so I don't mind it. All right, arms. Let's change that up. Now, with the arms, we want to pretty much make them purple. So if I can color match here. Now, you see, that's the wrong purple. Uh, I really don't like when that happens. Because then I can't honestly match anything. You know? And that's problematic. Because I want to match the colors, but the problem is that the shade is just completely off. Ah, oh, that really, 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 really stinks! And it's bothersome, because I'm trying to do my best to try to get this to match. But the problem is, I don't really have anything to use to match it. I mean, I could match it with this purple, which looks cool, but I don't like those sleeves. Like, that just does not look correct at all. I guess I'll go with that. Man, that's that's just annoying. That is just annoying. Okay, it is what it is. I have to move on because otherwise I'm going to spend the entire time just building Joker. Which, again, not such a bad thing in my mind, but I'm sure a lot of people would be complaining like, Dude, I want to see Green Arrow or Arrow. Just get to it. So, I can't just focus on the Joker, unfortunately. Okay, so we have that purple. I just don't understand why they would not give you the color to match the outfits. It's like, it should just be there, you know? It makes no sense. Uh, that's not great. I wouldn't mind like something like that, kind of like pinstriped. That's actually not terrible. It's just the torso is like, that's bothering me because the torso just does not match in color now, which is annoying me. Uh, let's try that. That's the weirdest looking Joker on the planet. Possibly. Okay, let me see the collector again. Nope. Not gonna work. Not gonna work. Where's the collector torso? Have I already passed it? Is it... Do there it is. The collector. I mean, it's fancy Joker. Let's go with it. Whatever. We're going with it! Abilities. Passive. Uh, no grappling, no wall climbing, no techno access. Mind control sometimes, so let's go with that. Why not? Um, fix it's not so good at that part. Vine cut, sure. Super strength, nope. Time manipulation, nope. Rune tracing, nope. Tracking, certainly nope. Uh, okay, so tap will just be fighting. That's fine. Hold will be... Oh, whoops. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. Uh, hold will be a targeted lunge. Actually, explosion attack would be kind of cool. No, no, no. Never mind. Not that kind of explosion. Forget about it. So, maybe just a targeted lunge then. Um, circle? Stealth is not really Joker's motif, so I, I don't think that would work. Explosion attack. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't think any of these work for the Joker, so... I don't think I'm going to give him any powers there. Boomerang, same thing. Can't really give him any powers in that regard. Double tap will just double jump. Hold. No, no hyper jump for the Joker. He ain't a particularly athletic fella. It's always fascinating to me. Like, you know, when you build a character like the Joker, you really start realizing how little powers and everything he has yet he's such an important character in the dc universe so i always find that interesting that like a character that pretty much has kind of like nothing quote unquote going on ends up being quite that important so i always found that funny let's give him like a pistol because i think that could be somewhat fitting or maybe dual wielding pistols and i think we'll color them 
something obscure, something ridiculous. Because, again, we're going for, like, a ridiculous-looking Joker, obviously, so... Maybe purple. Yeah. that That's looking good. And he's good there. Passive traits. Obviously got to change that up. Let's make that purple as well. Or pink or purple, whatever you want to call that. Standard, even though it feels like he's invulnerable. Voice does not really matter, because I never bother with that stuff. Uh, yeah, let's make him fast. Why not? Target reticle. I think that one fits him with the green and purple colors. And then miscellaneous. We've got the Joker! I don't know why I said Za, but, you know, the Joker. So there we are. Holy moly. This took way longer than I thought, and I'm still unhappy with it. I'm not gonna lie. I, I am not happy with the way that this Joker turned out. Like, why is he smiling like that? It's it's not even menacing! He's supposed to be a menacing Joker. Look, look at that preview picture. He looks so much better there. Look! Like, that actually looks scary as the Joker. Look how much better the expression makes it. Craziness, 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 craziness. All right, either way, it's arrow time. So let's get to working on arrows. So right away, I'm going to go into helmets because I know that that's what we're going to use. And we're going to go with dark green because, of course, we will. Head, we need something that has kind of like this mask, right? But maybe a little bit closer to the face like because this one's like... Kind of like that, maybe. I wish I could change the color of this one to be like... If I do that... Oh, yeah, you see, it changes the skin color. I was hoping it would change just the uh, mask color, which would have been really cool. Again, maybe in future uh, iterations of the um, game, or like whatever future games they come out with, if we could get more control over the customization, it would be uh, really cool. Because I would not mind that at all. It would be really, 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 really sweet. But for now, I actually don't mind that. I'm not going to lie. I think that actually um, looks somewhat decent. Not going to lie. I think that that could be a pretty good look for us to go with. But I'm going to search through this to see if there's anything better. Um, and if there is, obviously, we're going to go on ahead and apply that. Again, this would be perfect if it was a different color. So... That would have been nice. I could, I guess, in theory, use something like that. But I just feel like that covers a little bit too much of the face. Like, I don't think... I mean, if you think of Arrow, he usually just has the eyes kind of covered. like, And then he's got a little bit of scruffiness on the beard and everything that's showing. So that's the ideal look. And I get that. I just don't think that there's anything here that fits that ideal look, unfortunately. And I would have wished maybe it was something... Like, even that would be really good if the colors were right. But the problem is, again, the colors are incorrect, you know? So that really, really, really does stink. I wish we had some better options. But you know what? I think that based on what's here and, like, what I can use... I mean, maybe this would have worked really nice if I had that character unlocked. So once I unlock that character, I will probably change that up and try to see what that looks like. Because that head actually did look pretty fitting for what we're going for but instead i think i mean i guess we could go with that but i don't know i genuinely don't know if that's you know what i think i'll go with this um head sculpt down here because yeah it's not ideal but I, I think it somewhat works for what we're trying to accomplish here so we'll go with that uh obviously need to get rid of the cape because we don't need that then attachments I actually would love to be able to put, like, a um, quiver, if possible. Nice! That's excellent. That is really cool. It would be cool if we could have changed the color of the quiver as well, like, to make it more green. But that's all right. It is what it is. Um, can we actually change the color? Let me double check. No, we can't. Okay, cool. So, hands. Um, I think usually it's just boring black gloves, right? Nothing, like, exciting there, I'm pretty sure. And again, this is Arrow as he is seen in the TV show, so that's what we're trying to do. Uh, that's what I'm going for. So I'm not trying to, like, build out um, Green Arrow. I'm building Arrow specifically. I like that. It's a little bit too bright, unfortunately, but I do like that green. And I like the pouches and everything, so that kind of looks nice. That's a good first option. Ideally, we want something dark green, like this kind of shade. Um, obviously not that torso, that would not work out for this. But if we could find something with a darker shade, like even like that, black and green, that would be great. 
but so far I haven't really seen anything that even somewhat resembles that. Okay, this, there's not a... Ooh, 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 ooh. I like that, actually. I think that could work. I think that's pretty cool looking, too, but it has a little bit too much red and white, so that makes the colors kind of pop a bit more than I'd like to. But I really like this torso. I think that could work for us. I think we could make that work. Um, that one's really cool, too. Not gonna lie. It's just the glowing is just a little, like... Well, that's a bit much, you know? So, that one is what's taking me out of that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to that... Um, was that Carl Mordo, I think, maybe? Was that his torso? Uh, yep, it was Mordo. Okay, cool. Now, then for the arms... Ooh, that's actually pretty good right away, but... Let's see if we could find something a little bit better. Or better at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, okay. Did I literally just stumble upon the perfect arms right away? Yep, I did. I mean, I could go with this and just color it, like, dark green and make it that. But I feel like that's a little boring looking. And it's nice to have the little bit of extra detail that the uh, these arms give you. So I think that that works very, very well for the character. Then we need the body. Or, sorry, not the body. The hips to be adjusted. So for the hips, um, again, I could go with something that would probably blend in a bit. Are these Mordo's legs? Yeah, but I'd like them to be green, the hips. Like that, for example. There we go. And then the legs are also going to be ideally dark green. Let me see that. That's a bit busier than I'd like it to be. Just a little bit. The problem is I don't think I might have any other... Uh, ooh, there we go. That actually looks pretty good. So I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so from there, we're gonna go on ahead and go to abilities, of course. Passive. Let's see. Tracking makes sense, because he's usually pretty good at that sort of thing. Uh, I guess digging would go hand in hand with that. Uh, super strength, no. Vine cut could work. Um... Deflect, not really. Magic, not really. Mind control, not really. Grapple, I guess, would work with, like, you know, the bow, so we can kind of pretend that that's working. Wall climbing wouldn't work, so, yeah, I think that's that. So, tap, just fighting, of course. Hold, probably just a lunge attack. Then, for the circle, I think, actually, stealth would work, because he's usually a pretty stealthy character, right? So, it could kind of work. Again, the arrow that we see on the TV show... I think I'll get rid of the secondary ability, because I just don't think any of these would work particularly well. I guess we could have another targeted lunge. Why not? Uh, double tap is just going to do double jump. And then... I don't think we need a hyper jump on him. It wouldn't really work there. Passive traits. Obviously got to change the heart to green, because that makes sense. Standard health. Good. Voice. Whoa. What was that? That was spooktacular. Now, I, I like that one because it kind of looks like a bullseye, but the problem is the colors are obviously for Captain America, so it doesn't work for Green Arrow. Um, so I think maybe that then, kind of, you know, kind of Robin Hood-inspired type look. We'll make him fast, but not ultra-fast, so that's great. And then, of course, the most important part of this formula is the bow for Green Arrow, and we do need to change the color of the bow. So we'll just make it a black bow there. And there we are. Okay, so I have to say, I am pretty, pretty happy with the way that Arrow turned out. Unlike Joker, who I think turned out kind of labo. Um, I think that uh, we have not failed the city, put it that way, with what we have done for Arrow here. Because I think he turned out quite fantastic. So let's take a look at both of our characters on the outside. I want to go on ahead and hear you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below which of the two designs is your personal favorite. Is it Arrow? Is it Joker? Let me know down in the comments section below. So I'll show you guys both of them outside right now so you can get a pretty good idea of the character so we can actually, like, you know, zoom in and see the characters instead of just kind of looking at them from way far away. So there's Arrow. 
I think he turned out fantastically well. I actually really, really like the design. I think he looks super duper sweet. I wish we could change the color to be a little bit darker. I agree with that, but I think that it still turned out quite well. Um, and then, of course, our other character that we designed today was the Joker, who, again, I think looks far better with this like face that he has right now, where he seems a lot more... A lot more mean and a lot more Joker-esque. So I think that he does look pretty cool, actually. And I will say that he turned out much better than I thought he did. Like, in the customizer, he looked way worse than he does out here, which is something that I'm very, very, very glad to say. So, with that all in mind, of course, ladies and gents, let me know which of the two designs was your personal favorite. Let's travel to Xandar, where it's a lot brighter so we can see our characters a bit better. But there's the Joker. There's Arrow. Very, very happy with the way that both of them turned out. But I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys as far as which one you liked best. Let me know also in the comment section below what other characters you would like to see on future episodes of Customs. Hit that like button. That's the best way to let me know, like, hey, Blitz, we want more Customs. So I'll try to do right now one episode every other day. But again, if the likes are through the roof, I'm going to try to get an episode up every single day for you guys. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll hopefully catch you lovely folks here next time. Peace out. I'll see you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.